Since I started running a Dungeons & Dragons stream on Twitch, there's one thing I keep seeing on social media, whether it's Twitter or Reddit or something like that. It's people that say something along the lines of like, oh, I'd love to play Dungeons & Dragons, but I wouldn't know where to start. Or ask me, how do I start playing D&D right now? And it's not really that surprising. I mean, Dungeons & Dragons has always been something... It's been kind of known for having all these books and rules and tables and charts. It can be a little bit intimidating for somebody that's never played a tabletop RPG before, or even an RP, a video game RPG. I mean, what, what do all these things mean? Um, and so I can understand why some people struggle to just know where to begin. Most of the people I know that have played tabletop role-playing games, they were introduced to it by a friend, somebody who said, hey, do you want to come and join our game? It's really fun, we'll teach you the rules. That doesn't really help if you don't know anybody that plays D&D already. So that's why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to address this topic and, well, like any good adventure really, you've got to start right at the beginning. And so I want to show you guys how you can start playing Dungeons & Dragons right now. Ah, so you're pondering the eternal question. I want to start playing Dungeons & Dragons, but where do I begin? Do I, what books do I need? Do I need to buy stuff? And for a beginner D&D player, there's really two options available. I'm going to start with this one because personally, this is the one I recommend. This, ignore the loud rattling noise, this is the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition starter box. This comes with everything you and a bunch of friends need to start playing D&D right now. It comes with dice, it comes with pre-made characters, a number of quick start rules to teach you the basics of D&D, and probably most importantly, it comes with a fantastic adventure for a first time dungeon master to run. And that adventure will take you from levels one all the way through to level five. So this is a perfect little, ta mm, little tasty morsel to whet your appetite for more RPG adventures. Now it goes for around, I've seen it go for between 15 and 20 pounds, I've also seen it go for $15 to $25 for those of you in the US. You can grab it on Amazon. I've even seen it in chain bookstores like Waterstones and Barnes and Noble. Um, just if you can, don't go to Games Workshop. I know a few people that have made that mistake. They don't sell any other products apart from their own there, I'm afraid. But this, this beautiful, lovely box is everything you need to start your adventures in Dungeons and Dragons. Ah, so, <clears throat> you've got your starter set, it's arrived. Ooh, exciting! Let's go over everything that you get inside and what it means. It's got a set of basic rules on how to play. This will cover skills, combat, magic, all the basic elements of the game itself. It's got a selection of pre-made character sheets. These are characters where all the skills and spells have been selected for you, but the character still needs a name and personality to make it yours. This takes away some of the maths of creating a character yourself and just gets you into playing the game so much faster. It comes with one set of dice and perhaps most importantly, it has an excellent starter adventure for a first time dungeon master to run. The thing about the Lost Minds and Fandelver, the first the introductory adventure that you get given in your starter set for your dungeon master to run, is that this is designed for first time dungeon masters. It eases both the dungeon master and the player through encounters, making skill checks, how to interact with NPCs, and it also introduces the idea of open world gaming. Just letting players do what they want to do, and that's why I recommend this starter set so much, because this, this is the golden goose, this is the holy grail for first time dungeon masters out there. It's really, really something I recommend. So the starter box is a great way to dip your toe into Dungeons and Dragons, and it's definitely what I would personally recommend. But I did mention that there were two options available for people looking to get into D&D. Now, if you're a bit strapped for cash, or if you'd rather have some basic rules that let you be a bit more creative, maybe create your own worlds and your own adventures, there's an option for that. You see, Wizards of the Coast, the creators of D&D, have put all of the basic to play rules on their website for free that you can go and download right now. 
These basic rules are the same ones you get in the starter box, but also come with basic character creation rules as well, allowing you to make your own characters rather than the pre-made ones that you get in the starter box. Uh, it is a limited number of races and classes, but it will give you that idea about building your own personality. The downloaded rules, however, don't come with a pre-made adventure, so the DM will need to flex their creativity and write something themselves. Of course, there's nothing to stop you from buying the starter box and downloading the free basic rules anyway, allowing you to combine the amazing Lost Minds of Fandelver adventure, perfect for first-time dungeon masters, with rules that let you create your own characters to go into that adventure. So once you've got your starter box or you've downloaded the quick to play rules off the wizard's website for free, uh, you need to make another big decision. And that's where you're going to play. Now, traditionally, Dungeons and Dragons has been played around a table or in a lounge uh, on the floor with a bunch of bean bags or something, right? It's very much about a social game. You get drinks, you get snacks, you get your friends, and you have fun playing a game together. But we live in the 20th century and that's not always possible. We're busy, we've got families, we've got friendships, we've got social circles. Some of our friends don't even live in the same country as us. So what can you do if you can't get those people together? Well, there's still an option available to you. Uh, I would personally recommend a wonderful program called Roll20. Roll20 is a desktop tabletop simulator program. It's free with ads, but if your DM purchases the premium subscription, you can all play without them. It's really simple but robust and provides everything you need to play online. It's even got webcam and voice communication support. It's a great program. It allows you to do dice rolls. You can have maps. Um, it's really fantastic. And if you've got friends who live in other countries, or even if they're just busy and they're up at different times, Roll20 can be the great way to scratch that D&D itch without needing to be in the same place. If you can though, and I totally understand if you can't, but if you can, even if it's just once a month, get your friends, get some snacks, and find a place to physically get together and play D&D because that's the heart of it. It's a social game. And I'm not going to lie, it's going to make things a little bit easier. Role-playing, dice rolling, combat it all just becomes a bit smoother and quicker when you can play it together. But don't let that put you off playing. Roll20 is an absolutely brilliant solution if you can't get your friends together to play. So that's it. Pretty much the starter box or the online rules will cover everything you need to just start playing. And remember, the rules in D&D are really just there as a guideline to help you get into the mindset of role-playing games. The most important thing is you get a bunch of friends together, you have fun, and you just start playing. So, there you go. That's how to start playing Dungeons & Dragons. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this incredibly weird and awkward pose that I'm pulling. If you guys have started playing D&D, or if you've been playing D&D for a long time, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to know if this video helped you get into Dungeons & Dragons and your first character and all that good stuff please do let me know in the comments. And yeah, to be cheeky, if you like this video, if you found it useful, please do hit the like button. Uh, feel free to subscribe. There'll be more of these videos upcoming in the future, as well as more great tabletop content here on Tabletop Weekly. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and bye bye Bye! Ooh. Ooh, D&D. &D. Ooh. Hello. Welcome to 1-800-CALL-DMs. I'm your dungeon master, Mark Humes, and I'll be taking you through a crazy fantasy adventure in my lost minds. I hope you like it. Enjoy. I'm doing this for the end card. Hopefully it's really weird and awkward. Yeah. That's a pretty funny shot, actually. <laughs> kind of, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that.